public-private partnership in Nigeria. And the National Health Act, four years after Where Are We? Those are some of the themes that you're looking at today. And, of course, uh, we are at the ICC, the International Conference Center, getting ready for that lecture, the guest lecture by the former Minister of Health, Professor Eitayo Lambo. Our lecturer, our keynote speaker, is already set. Please, let's come inside so we can go ahead with the lectures. Thank you. And if you are in the hall already, I think you can locate your seats. If not, we can tell the facility organizers to turn up more lights so you can locate your seats. Please, let's get seated. Let's get seated. We want to get straight away with the lecture proper. For those who are outside the hall, the foyer, please, let's come back into the hall. Let's come back into the hall, please. We are ready to start with the lecture, please. Please, let us remember that we have limited time to be on live TV. And it's important that those who are at home should benefit from the lecture. Please, let's remain seated. Let's come into the hall quickly. We'll have more time later to go to the exhibition area. It is right now about time for lecture, please. back into the auditorium, the Minister of Health, Professor Isaac Adewale, and of course everyone is getting geared up for this guest, uh, this lecture uh, by Professor Itai Olambo, who's a former Minister of Health. Interesting to note uh, what he would be talking about. Uh, the focus today has been on improving the healthcare sector in Nigeria, looking at primary healthcare as one of the ways to get that done. Of course, getting ready for that lecture. Uh, and of course, you heard uh, them there asking that everybody at home who's listening right now get ready because there's a lot to learn from this particular lecture that will be held in a short while. The Budget for Health, the National Health Act, and of course, uh, the Strategic Plan for 2017-2021 has been unveiled right here. A lot of things going on. Uh, at the 2018 58th opening ceremony of the Nigerian Medical Association Annual General Conference and Delegates Meeting. Well, the guest speaker, the former Minister of Health in Nigeria, Professor Itayo Lambo, please stand while I read the citation. Professor Itayo Lambo, is a health economist and a health systems expert. And he obtained both first and second degrees in economics and a doctorate degree in operational research, specifically applied to health systems. He was awarded the fellowship of operational research, FOR England in 1986, one of the first Africans so honored by the International Professional Organization. He was also conferred the fellowship of the Nigerian Economic Society FNES in October 2013. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency, Professor Eyitayo Lambo was in the academics in Nigeria for 17 years, during which he rose from the position of lecturer grade two in 1974 to that of a full professor in 1983. He took early and voluntary retirement from the university system in 1992. He served at the World Health Organization as a regional advisor on health economics, health sector reform, and health in socioeconomic development in the organization's regional office for Africa from 1990 to 1999. While he was at the WHO, he introduced health economics into the work of the organization in Africa and built strengthened capacity in health economics in the WHO regional office for Africa, as well as in WHO country offices in Africa. He took an early 
and voluntary retirement yet again from the World Health Organization in December 1999, before when he received the award of the most hardworking and outstanding professional staff in the WHO Regional Office for Africa, an award that was made to any staff for the first time by WHO's Regional Office in Africa. Professor Itaya Lambo was appointed Minister of Health of the Federal Republic of Nigeria by President Olusegun Obasanjo in 2003, and he served meritoriously in that position for a full term of four years, making him one of the longest serving ministers of health in Nigeria to date. During his tenure as Minister of Health, the first health sector reform program for Nigeria was developed and implemented. The National Health Insurance Scheme was launched after being on the drawing board for over 40 years. I thought we'd give him a round of applause for that. The National Blood Transfusion Service was also established. Federal teaching hospitals were refurbished and re-equipped, and many health policies and legislations were formulated, including the National Health Bill. Strike actions were almost non-existent throughout the four years that he served as the Minister of Health. Professor Eyitayo Lambo is a devoted Christian, along with his wife, serve as members of the team of facilitators of the unique marriage enhancement class organized by his Abuja church. Need I say that Professor Eyitayo Lambo is happily married to Dr. And Mrs. Esther Ulufumilayo Lambo, and they are blessed with four grown-up children and nine grandchildren. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the guest speaker for today, the grandfather, a father of medicine in Nigeria, very much, very much, very much involved in health policies across Africa and indeed in the world, distinguished Professor Eyitayo Lambo. Mr. Chairman of this very important meeting, my most respected former head of state, any time I come near him, I, the anointing flows from him to me, particularly with respect to humility. This our former head of state is one of the most humble person that I have met. Can you give me a round of applause? <laughs> My brother, the Honorable Minister of Health, Professor Isaac Adewale. My brother and compatriot, uh, my kingsman, your president, my Professor Mike uh, Ogrima. Uh, members of NMA, sorry, members of National Assembly, they are still here, and other members of government, uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is certainly a delight and an opportunity for me to stand before you to give this keynote, uh, I mean, this theme address on a subject that I'm very passionate about. Uh, I spent time to do only about 75 slides on the subject to show you how much I hate the subject. And, uh, but I've tried, I will try to make my presentation within 20, 25 minutes. Uh, I will not refer to all the slides I will call some of the slides uh, to show you for the sake of emphasis. The presentation is divided into four parts. Uh, the first one is to give an overview of uh, universal health coverage for those who may not know what this jargon means. The second one is very critical to our discussion here. And that is to look at the progress that we have made in Nigeria so far, uh, with a view to uh, really 
uh, strategizing on what to do. Because the first time that this issue was mentioned in the World Health Assembly was in 2005. We are member states who are asked to go and develop health financing schemes uh, for attaining universal health coverage. 2005 minus uh, 2018 is about 13 years. Now, the target is 2030. So simple arithmetic will give you the fact that we have 12 more years to go. So essentially, we are mid term. And therefore, our evaluation of where we are now will dictate to us uh, certainly what we need to do. I'm not sure I want to waste time on the conceptual issues, like uh, what is universal health coverage. I think I'll just read the WHO definition to it to you, and you will get the key concepts from there. Universal health coverage means, listen to that very well, all people and communities can use promotional, preventive, curative, 